Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and others, welcome to the vlog. It's your boy, Louis Offer, and your girl, Suki Sue. Uh, oh, Suki So tonight, we're going to meet the iconic, world famous German in Venice at Norm's for the first time since he's gotten back from Germany. It's been months since we've gone to Norm's, and I'm gonna bring you, the viewing audience, with me and Suki to Norm's to hang out with the notorious GIV. That's right, Louis and German in Venice back again. So let me tell you a few fun facts about Norm's. Maybe hundreds, maybe even thousands of famous and not so famous people have eaten here through the years. This is an iconic spot right on Los Anaga and Melrose. They tried to tear it down some time ago and because it was this googie style architecture, we were able to save norms. They're tearing everything down in West Hollywood and putting these big buildings, but we saved norms, thank God. And let me show you a little of the architecture. Look how cool this building looks. Have you ever seen anything like that? It's googie. Pretty cool. I'm glad it's still here. So I'm just standing in front, waiting for the arrival of the world famous German in Venice. That's right. He's coming anytime now. So if we're patient, we can see him pull up. Better pull up than pull out. Oh, then Look who got here. It's German in Venice. Just arrived. He's going to go park right now. And uh, we're going to get some dinner. Welcome to Norms on a Sunday night. Look at that. That's amazing hearing them talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's German in Venice. There's Suki. Suki, go get Mikey. Uh, Suki, 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 Suki. <laughs> Suki does it. theme song? This is Suki. <laughs> this is Suki's theme song right here. Suki, Suki, oh, Suki, Suki. Man, this is the first time we're here at Norms again since I'm back in, from Germany. I miss Norms, believe it or not, even though the food was really good in Germany. But I like coming here because you get like big portions for an inexpensive price. And the people, they know us here, they're really nice to us. And that's why we always come to Norms. That's where life is happening. The oh. average age here at Norms is uh, 69 wait, years. Wait, wait, you said that before and you regretted it. I did? Yeah, you didn't want to say that old people ate here, but old people do. What about famous people? Have you ever seen anybody famous here? Um, yeah, I've seen, uh, who was it? <laughs> I forgot the one. Rip I've... Taylor? <laughs> no, there's sometimes uh, celebrities come here late at night. You can, can see celebrities here. You got to be lucky though. But uh, the most famous person is you. Everybody looks at you when you walk in here with Suki. They're really famous here at Norm's Ooh. on La Senegal. Yeah, we're legends. In their own mind. That's right. So, should we go eat? Shall we? Shaolin. You know who says that all the time? Shall, Shall we? we? No. No, who? Exactly. The, the who? who? <laughs> <laughs> Adam the, not the who, the who. I always used to say Adam the who, but his name is, no, I, I used to say Adam the who, but it's Adam the who. Yeah, this is all gonna get edited out. No, why? I don't... love Adam the who. Oh, yeah. We just ordered some food. Our waitress didn't want to be on cam. I understand. Not like Lydia, she's great on it. But uh, we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty and we're gonna ask the notorious GIV some questions. Okay, so Mike, I noticed when you were in Germany, you went to the market a lot and compared prices. It wasn't very clear if it was more expensive there or cheaper there. Can you uh, let your your audience know about the of prices? It, of course it was way cheaper than here, Louis. LA is the most expensive grocery stores in whole America, I think. I didn't know that. Thank yeah. you for enlightening me and our audience. Of course, and the inflation right now we have, it's gonna be more expensive. So is the Euro stronger than the dollar? I thought no. it was even now. No, it's almost one to one. But what a lot of people don't understand, if you have a thousand dollars and you want to get euros, you're losing money because they change, when they change the money, they charge too much money. 
And do you have any idea what percentage they charge when you I have no I have no idea. I just uh, went to the bank, I put it in the bank and they changed it for me, but I didn't even look at it. You know they didn't do it for free. That's right. So uh, if you buy an apple at Trader Joe's, it's like a, a dollar thirty-five. Yeah. How much is an apple in Germany? Maybe forty cents. Is it as good of an apple? It's a German apple, you know. <laughs> is that I don't a, know. A I mean, Granny Smith? I don't know. I'm not that uh, professional in apples. Okay. And. Uh, I also noticed in Germany they had a lot of American stuff there. Oh, they love American stuff. They love American cars, t-shirt, bands. They love everything America. Jeans, uh -huh. everything. And what about at the, the grocery store is what I was talking about. Is there a lot of American yeah, products? Yeah, they do have a lot of American products. And you can buy an American product cheaper in Germany than you can buy it in America? I didn't buy any American uh, stuff in Germany. I was eating the German food when I was well, that there. Ma yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And dollars. Uh, but did you look at any of the price and say, oh, look, the Heinz ketchup here is only $1.29 and America is $3. No, I just looked at the uh, Hella ketchup because I love the German Hella ketchup. I don't even look at Heinz. That's, that's, that's right. I used, a, I used a bad example of ketchup. One, I, 175 for a big bottle of uh, Hella ketchup. And, and is that the curry ketchup? It's the extra strong, hot curry ketchup. You're is, right. Is that the black cap? That's the black cap. Yes. Oh, that's the curry ketchup you got to get. The Hella black cap curry ketchup. And that's right. And we've looked at it here and found it and it's like like six dollars i think i found it for. even more i think yeah oh my god yeah so, they gotta ship it it's really expensive to ship stuff from here to germany now and it's also really expensive to ship from germany to america before they used to do it by ship now everything goes by air but it's too expensive sometimes it's more expensive to send a t-shirt to germany so the t-shirt would be actually cheaper to buy oh that comes by suit Oh my Thank God. Thank you very Look much. Look at that. Is that the uh, chicken tortilla? That's chicken tortilla soup, yes. Uh, sometimes the German wants some soup. I, um, love, I love soups. So we're going to let you get into some eating right now and not uh, let that get cold. But there was, uh, oh, there was a question I want to ask you. Did you fill your suitcase up with curry ketchup and bring some back? No, I just bought one bottle. One bottle? Yeah, you only have 23 kilos. You cannot bring too much. So it costs more money if you got, brought a lot of ketchup than to buy it here. That's right. But I also had two ketchups here. Somebody gave it to me while they were visiting from Belgium. They came over here, they brought me German ketchup because they watched my videos and they thought they're gonna do me a favor by giving me the ketchup and that was absolutely amazing. I want to say thank you to those people. And do you remember their names? I do not remember their names, no. M me neither. There comes Louis soup. Uh-oh. Wait, look at Mike's soup and look at Louis soup. Yeah, but you have to compare. You... Louis getting the soup and the salad. I only getting the soup. Yeah, and Mike doesn't like it when I compare food sizes. Always. So, we're gonna let Mike uh, eat for now and uh, get back to him after he's had some soup. When Mike's trying to enjoy his food, he's got Sookie, who just was had her head on his knee, begging. Now she's gonna lie down. Okay, so the notorious GIB has just finished his dinner. He's having a nice coffee there. How was your, your dinner here at Norm's? Um, not too good today. But you had breakfast. How do you mess up breakfast? Uh, because the, everything was cold, kind of cold. Normally it's not like this, but maybe they were busy or maybe they put it out. Who knows? But I'm not a complainer. If it's a little cold, I eat it. I'm just saying that because you asked me, but I would not mention it to anybody. But I would. You would. You 100%. For sure. if, if you got sausage uh, and you order bacon, I tell them. That's right. Which I did. Well, Mike might not have loved it tonight, but I know who did. Hey, 
Have you ever seen a dog take a french fry that gentle before? Have you ever seen Suki up so close? Sorry. I know you guys love to see Suki, so there's more Suki. Let's give her another french fry. Oh, that's some good footage there. Sookie's in 3D. So uh, let's get back to the interview. So in Germany, what was the homeless situation there like? Well, as you may be seen in my video, <clears throat> I'm living in a small city, Krefeld, near Dusseldorf, and there was really no homeless people there. I didn't see that many homeless people in Dusseldorf either. But a lot of people told me that there's a lot of homeless people in um, Berlin. You know, they have like people sleeping in tents underneath the bridges. But I did not go. see it, so you I didn't, didn't go to Berlin. I did not go. I wanted to, but I didn't have enough time. And and where did you go that you saw like uh, homeless? Well, we had some, but they're they're not like encampments. They're just homeless, and then they sleep on the street. They sleep in like a store entrance at night, and in the morning they get up. So. You don't really see stuff. I was trying to allude to one of the videos where you saw a few homeless people and uh, some people don't know this, but the, the mayor actually saw that video. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, one of those guys saw me on the street and I said, hey, listen, uh, I saw your video and I actually sent it to the mayor of Krefeld. So, but uh, I think he wasn't really impressed that I showed how bad Krefeld looks, but it's not only Krefeld, it's everywhere in Germany. It's everywhere here in America. You know, it's like stores closed down, people can't pay the rent anymore, the rent is up, you know, so I think it's everywhere. So it's a global problem. Absolutely. And did they uh, want to put you on a TV show or something too? Uh, maybe, that's uh, still in limbo, I don't know yet. Ah, good word, Limbo. Isn't that when you uh, like go under a stick, like uh, the Hooba Hooba did? <laughs> That's right. It's like a little, and then you go underneath. <laughs> yeah. Limbo. All right. Um, any like last words you want to say about Germany and LA and the comparison? No, I just had a really good time in Germany because I never have time to go in the summertime. Mm -hmm. So this time, I've seen the nice weather. I see all those beer gardens, it's really nice. Normally when I go in the winter, everything is closed, it's cold, it's raining, snow, so it's totally different experience when you go in the summertime. Yeah, but I know what the best thing about it was. What was it? My mom, of course. Gisela. Gisela, that's right. That's right. I love your mom so much, she is so nice. And right. uh, it, it shows, you know, maybe she's a little camera shy and didn't say a whole lot, but she is just a really wonderful woman, and I, I love Gisela so much. Thank you. And I hope she watches this, this video, because I tell her, nice to meet you. That's right. <laughs> As we have like a running joke, we, every time we see each other, we say, nice to meet you. So uh, I also noticed since you've been back, you've been spending a lot of time at the Sixth Street Bridge. Yeah, because I was sick when they opened up, People probably seen my videos, <coughs> and um, I love the bridge. And it's crazy what's going on there right now. It's all over the news. All the people doing crazy stunts on top of the bridge. People climb up the arches. You know. Yeah. So, sorry for the shaky video. I don't have a gimbal for an arm, like the GIV. He's got that's, a steady cam arm. That's my gimbal right here. Look at that, man. It's like a four axis. Um, so I know you for a long time and I know you had a fascination with that bridge even before they tore it down or you knew they were tearing it down. Matter of fact, I think you have like a giant uh, panoramic uh, That's picture right. of it canvas, in your, yep. canvas in, print. In your uh, apartment. That's right. So, uh, and what do you think uh, comparison to the new and the old? I know you like metal more than cement. <laughs> Yeah, that's absolutely right. The new one looks too futuristic to me and there's too many arches, I think, you know. Hey, Louis, I was wondering, 
what is a viaduct anyway? You know, when I Googled it at first, I didn't know everybody talks about Sixth Street Viaduct. What is a Sixth Street Viaduct? What is a viaduct, Louis? Well, actually, a viaduct is a bridge that has looping arches. <laughs> I don't know, Mike. <laughs> I, I wanted know. to ask you that question. You flipped it on me. He actually <laughs> asked me what a viaduct is. He didn't know either. What and the hell is a viaduct? I Who didn't knows? know it either, so I had to Google it. And the uh, viaduct, I think it's a bridge has a certain uh with arches with arches yeah maybe arch, that's what arch support yeah. bridge but it's well a, i just recommend everybody to drive over there it's a really nice view downtown especially at night when they have the lights on really nice and uh in our uh, dinner conversation you mentioned that it's closed down tonight it was i wanted to go tonight just on Sunday night they close it no, or every night? they just close night? it whenever they have like uh, craziness going on on the beach. Oh, so s there was something <coughs> happening tonight so they shut it down. Yeah, there's a oh, lot of people. Oh, that makes sense. You know, like, I thought they just shut it down. They closed it down last na night as well for a few hours. So as soon as it gets really busy, they close down the bridge. Sorry about the lighting. Sometimes it gets bright like that and sometimes... Uh, I apologize for that. I try to get that glare out. I can't believe you're so close. Look at all my wrinkles here. Ah, oh, man, your there. skin's like porcelain. You're like got a baby face. Yeah, right. I don't know how you're you're 32 years old and have such nice skin. Yeah, inside I feel like 32. Maybe more than 29. Oh, you're really 42, huh? Yeah. Almost. <laughs> and uh, what what other questions did I want to ask you? Do you remember? I don't remember. <laughs> Man. You're the one who does the interview here with me. That's true, but I, I try to prep you. All right. So anyhow, I think that's about it. Man, I, Mike had a, a, a bad norms. I had a great norms. I got the trio. I got a steak. I got shrimp. I got fries. I had a soup. I had a salad. I can't even eat it all. It's like only uh, eighteen ninety nine. I had shrimp assist with that. It's a really good deal. Look, yum. I'm so you're not going to eat all this, Lou? You're going to take it home for a second meal? That's right. See, then it only costs me... Uh, nine, nine, nine. Nine, yeah. Plus the tip, Louis. Yeah. Of course. But I get a, a senior citizen discount. Well, I got to tell you, Mike, I really missed you when you were in Germany. That was what? a really long, long time you were gone. It was like this, really quick like this for me. Yeah, I thought you were going to go to all these places and take cruises and do all this stuff. But maybe just, next time, maybe you next just want to hang out with mom. I get that. That's right. And um, well, it's good to be at Norm's again and uh, good to hang out with you again. And is there any last words you'd like to say to the kids at home? Stay safe, have fun, do what you want to do, and uh, that's it. You don't want to tell the kids to brush their teeth or anything? No. Drink their Ovaltine? <laughs> that's all right. All right, well, I'm going to let you end this video in the way that only the notorious GIV, the German in Venice can. Well, my friends, that was it. Life here from Norms, where life is happening. If you like Louis' video, subscribe to my channel <laughs> and to his channel, of course. And give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and I'll see you guys later. Hand to the palm to the hand. No, no, you got to do the, the juice of the can. All right, see you guys later. Tschüssing.